Hey guys, Greg Bissonette here at Drumeo, and I want to talk to you about something that I think is really important. Singing your drum parts and getting them in here, here, and here before you play them. Yeah, a lot of drummers don't realize how important it is to sing your parts. We need to be musicians, not just drummers that hit things. We need to think about lengths. When you play a short hi-hat, that's psh. When you play a closed hi-hat, that's when you play a crash that's long, psh, psh. when you play a ride cymbal with the shoulder of your stick and slap it, psh. or you play the bell, ding, ding. Psh. All of those sounds have to be in your head and in your heart for you to really pull them off, especially if you're doing any kind of reading. I do a lot of reading in the studios in Los Angeles and they'll throw a six page chart at you and nobody's supposed to play, they're getting sounds on the violin, but you can look at your chart and you can sing your chart. Well that's short, long, short, long. Drummers often just think about, oh, it's a crash. Ba da 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 crash. Well, if the horns are going ba da 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 da, and they're singing, they're playing a short sound, you don't want to crash. You want to ba ba da 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 da. You want to hit short sounds. So I practice a lot when I'm driving in the car. I also live in sunny Southern California and we have a lot of traffic. But traffic can be a good thing because you're driving, you've got both hands on the wheel, you're following the road signs, you're paying attention to who's all around you, but you're singing. You're singing ideas. You're not on the kit. Oh dude, I didn't get a chance to practice this week because I live in an apartment and I can only play from two to five in the afternoon, you know. No, you can practice all day and all night. You can practice on an airplane flying. You can practice while you're driving. If I want to work on a new lick, uh, one, two, three, four, I'll just start thinking of the groove and I'll sing. I'll just sing a little solo. But what I'm doing is I'm assigning different parts of the kit to different sounds. I love to sing vocals. I love to do voiceover work in Los Angeles. I love voices, whether it's or whatever it is, a horse. You make sounds, your drums are sounds, right? You can practice by assigning a kick drum if you're playing That's kick, snare, and hi-hat. The snare is the ah, the hi-hat's the ch, or the pss. You could take a song like David Garibaldi's Soul Vaccination. Soul Vaccination, all across the nation. Now if I hadn't heard that song before and I'm in my car and that song comes on, I could I could just start singing that and figure it out. Oh, it's well, it's three different things. It's an open hi-hat. It's closing it with the foot. I'm not going, I'm going. And then I'm hitting a tip. And then two opens with two feet.
times. I've just got a four-piece kit here with an extra little side snare, but that's a Steve Gadlick, right? Or I like to call it the follow the yellow brick road lick. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Well, in drum speak, instead of follow the yellow brick road, it's and you can get those accents. Steve Gadd starts that high. He shuts the door on it. It's not just no, it's and if you're singing it here and it's in your head, it'll go to your heart. And once it's in your heart, you play it. So learn to verbalize and vocalize your drums and cymbals and sing, and that's a great way to practice. You don't even need to be on the kit.